I cannot wait for this car to be done. What's up guys, good morning. Welcome back to the channel. We're about to head up to Kevin's shop, Precision Auto Body, to continue the build on the C8 Liberty Walk Wide Body Kit. We're gonna be installing the Paragon Performance exhaust system. We also just got in another box from Paragon. We will go and get that opened up at the shop. So a couple weeks ago, Paragon sent us their touring exhaust system. Our AWV exhaust got crushed. All right, guys, we are back at Kevin's shop. Went ahead and put on all the body parts for the Liberty Walk. She looks pretty freaking sweet. Oh, man, I cannot wait to get this car done. Today, we are going to be working on the... Paragon exhaust system, which we got right over here. I'm gonna get this thing all pulled out and we'll get it all set up so you guys can take a look at it. But dang, look at these welds. What I love most about this exhaust is how simple it is. Literally, what, three pieces, not including the tips. All right, guys, we got the air box out. Now we can see the cats. Very easy to get to. We got two bolts here and three bolts on this side that we gotta take off so we can get these old flex pipes off and we'll get the new Paragon performance in there. What's up guys? It's actually the next week. So we ran into a little bit of a speed bump last week. We noticed that the catalytic converters were actually damaged. So Kevin went ahead and ordered two more of those. Actually already put them on already. He actually put the exhaust system on already and he already started painting the car. So can't really wait to show you guys an update on the car. Right now we are at Frankie's house. We are picking him up and then we're heading down to Kevin's body shop. All right guys, we just pulled up to Precision Auto. Let's go check out the car. What's up guys? Just Thanks, man. Look at this thing. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. This is crazy. Oh my god. You can see all the flake in there. This thing's gonna look nuts. Dude, this thing's green now. Hey, get off my car, man. Dude, it looks good with the, uh, I think with the black and red, it looks fine. It looks really good. Check this out. This is the, here are the doors. He just sprayed these. That is insanely cool. Oh, dude, this is insane. Holy cow. So yeah, we decided to go with the green. This is the uh, Lamborghini Verde Mantis, pearl something something, diamond. Pearl effect. And then step two of two, Verde Mantis. Got the roof over here. They did all the door jams. Got the hood done. And the tail, or the rear hatch, I mean. Guys, check it out. The green is freaking nuts. I, so I had it wrapped before green, like light gloss green, um, but the door jams were never green. It was just you know, the outside panels. This is a straight up green car. I was really uh, worried about what the green and the, the red and black were gonna look like, but I think that came out great. It's not too Christmassy. And during Christmas, it's gonna look freaking sweet. This thing is freaking nuts, guys. Oh, I'm so pumped. So what you guys probably can't see through the camera is there is this kind of like a yellow goldish pearl in it um you know in the sun it'd obviously be a lot easier to see we're inside the warehouse but it is gorgeous and then they went ahead and finished up the paragon exhaust system so we should we should definitely uh take a listen to that here's the rest of the body kit that they need to finish up painting so got your rear bumper there front bumper here one of our fenders there and then the driver's side fender over there side skirts are up over there i'm not sure where the rear fenders are ah, actually rear fenders are over here getting worked on right now so looks like they filled in all the holes for the fenders and now they're just doing some sanding i've still got this rear bumper here if anybody needs one it's got some slight cracks in the paint just one right there uh, there's Oh, there's one more crack right there in the paint. And then same thing on the other side. If anybody needs a bumper, let me know. We are also actually getting a brand new windshield. My other windshield is cracked. They're replacing with a brand new OEM windshield, Team Corvette. So that'll get slapped in there probably today. So before we turn the car on, I'm going to show you guys a couple differences between the old exhaust and the new exhaust. So this is the AWE exhaust. This is the Paragon exhaust system. So with the AWE, it was adjustable at this point right here. So you'd always notice that the tailpipes were either kind of up and down. So you'd stick your foot in and kind of adjust it. But with the Paragon, there is no adjustment there. All right, Frank, you wanna give a few revs for me?
that's like much as though this exhaust compared to the AWE, it's much deeper. It sounds like a lot more free flowing too. It sounds really good. I'm really excited to have it. Can't wait to go for an actual rip. The AWE, from what I remember, it sounded like it sounded good, but it didn't sound crisp and clean. Like it was kind of like a it wasn't refined. Refined, yeah. Like they actually, you know, made it sound good. Alright guys, so we're actually gonna go and give this thing a drive just like how it is no doors or anything we need to get some gas in the car i left kevin with no gas i got no mirrors i can't see nothing oh my god dude this is awesome even though it's only half a c8 it's still freaking awesome i haven't been in this car yeah, forever i like it without the doors it's like a freaking no car <laughs> this is crazy dude dude this is i haven't been in this car in forever Oh, it feels God, so like. good. All right, here we go. You ready? I can't go above 26. My hood. Oh, no one's behind me. It goes like 28, and then it goes back down. If you've never taken the doors off of your C8, you might as well want to try it. I don't know. <laughs> actually, no, it's pretty cool. cool. It's actually not bad. That is freaking sweet. Whoa, look at this, guys. We are running around with no doors on. Frankie's trying to get us arrested today. Uh, you know, it's part of the <laughs> Let's see how this, how this thing sounds. Oh, she sounds so smooth. Yeah. Bro, she sounds really smooth. Yeah. Like very yeah. free flowing. Yeah, it's like no, like no restriction. Oh, it's a nice sound. Paragon Performance, thank you so much. Gosh, bro, this car is so smooth. We made it. <laughs> this is too cool. <laughs> I love this thing. Oh man. The front? For what? Just in case we need to jump start it. Uh oh. Is it electric? I think we have a problem. It is electric. The button's on the door. We shouldn't have turned the car off. Oh no. Alright. Alright guys, Frankie's gonna give her a little drive here. Okay. Luckily we're only a quarter mile down the street from the shop. Woo! Guys, look at this car. Dang. This is it. Whole 25 mile an hour. Are you impressed? I'm going so fast. Oh, dang, guys. I cannot wait for this car to be done. Cannot wait to show y'all the final product. Guys, Kevin's Body Shop, Precision Auto Body. You guys, if you guys have a C8, he's definitely worked on a few C8s now. If you guys need any work done, let me know. We'll get you guys in contact with Kevin. He does an amazing job, as you guys can see. Woohoo! Look at that! This is freaking nuts, guys. The only C8 in the world with Verde Mantis, right? Verde Mantis. One of one, baby. And Liberty Walk Wide Body and Rojano Wheels. One of one. This thing's insane. Oh, I can't wait for this thing to be done. Thank guys, you. thank you guys all for whoever helped me out with this Paragon, Solar Performance, Precision Auto Body, Liberty Walk, Rojana. You guys are all amazing. Cannot wait to get this thing done for you guys. Oh, this is too cool. And we are here. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, so here are the old cats off of the C8. I want to show you guys the damage to them. So it got a little crushed here. And then on this guy, you can see here that it's also crushed all up in here. Both of these were kind of crushed and uh, we had to get those replaced. So we still got to get rubber for the wheels. Uh, I've got 21s and 20s for the front, but we will get those tires put on those wheels and we'll get the wheels over here. That's gonna be it for the update. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys haven't subscribed, please do so. Go ahead and like the video. We'll see you guys in the next one. Later. If you guys ever want to take out the passenger side seat belt, you actually have to go through this, the rear actually. There's a little hole down there. Yeah, it's a cover that's here. And then it lets you, allows you to slide through and grab the seat belt through there.